You may have your mother's smile or your father's hair, but why do you look the way you do? How do we explain the incredible diversity of people from around the globe? And how did your ancestors find their way to the place where you live today? These and many other questions are the focus of a landmark study that will change the way we think about human history. The Genographic Project. National Geographic and IBM are teaming up to collect and analyze DNA samples from human populations around the world, resulting in the most comprehensive picture of human genetic variation ever created. We're all part of one big family. Our partnership in concert with field research support provided by the Waite Family Foundation is harnessing a worldwide team of scientists and institutions to sample human DNA on an unprecedented scale. Age? Uh, what do you find? And intercaste marriage? I'm going to go. Okay. Our work will shed new light on our genetic and migratory history, helping us to better understand the connections and differences that make up the human species. We'll be able to answer key questions about migratory history and human diversity. The ancestors of the Native Americans made it through here about 15,000 years ago. The Genographic Project will also raise awareness of the threats facing indigenous populations and the world's disappearing cultures. <laughs> In the past few years, I've traveled to the four corners of the world, conducting groundbreaking genetic research and sharing these results with the public. Your Y chromosome and his Y chromosome and his Y chromosome, they've been here for 40,000 years. As our DNA is passed on from one generation to the next, tiny changes occur from time to time. When these changes are inherited down through the generations, they provide us with a tool for following lines of descent, genetic markers that never disappear. If you look at this particular position, see that change yes. from C to T? T, yes. That's the marker. These occasional changes or mutations are easily identified and accumulate in a particular order so that they act as a kind of clock. They provide us with a time machine, a way to follow family lines back to the deepest branches in our genealogy. Why isn't it possible that the Africans actually come from us? Over the next five years, with a team of colleagues from around the world, we'll sample DNA from members of indigenous communities to decipher the stories written in their genetic code. Given what you know about the people living in southern India, which population should we sample? Yes, there are many. This research will be overseen by an advisory board of internationally recognized scientists, as well as representatives from the participating indigenous communities themselves. It says that the Native American people are somehow connected to yes. Central Europe. Yes, Central Asia. By sampling the blood of ethnically stable populations, like the San Bushmen of Southern Africa or the Australian Aborigines, we'll be able to track the spread of genetic markers that arose hundreds or even thousands of generations ago. I think we've got about 16, 17 samples here, one from Pate Town, so approaching some sort of statistical significance. Using cutting-edge scientific laboratories and IBM's advanced research and technical resources, our team of genetic archaeologists will be able to flesh out the stories told by these ancient lineages, providing us with an unprecedented picture of the human family tree. This man is a direct descendant of a person who lived in Central Asia about 35 to 40,000 years ago. Wow. And his ancestor is also the ancestor of most Europeans and Native Americans. But not everyone is a member of an isolated indigenous group. As a truly global endeavor, the Genographic Project provides for and in fact encourages participation by members of the public as well. Uh, just take it inside your mouth. By purchasing a participation kit, swabbing your cheek, and sending in your DNA sample, you'll discover details of your deep ancestral migratory history. So I am going to take these back to the lab and we will let you guys know the results as soon as they come in. Your anonymous test will only be used for non-medical purposes. All we're studying are markers that tell us about your ancestry. All results will be delivered privately and securely on a special Genographic Project website. Contributing your DNA will help with our exploration and mapping of the emerging genetic tree of all humanity. Furthermore, proceeds from the sale of the kits will be channeled back to assist local educational and cultural efforts among the participating indigenous communities. So what we're hoping to do with this study is to confirm your stories about being related to these Chinese sailors. The Genographic Project is one of the most important research efforts in National Geographic's 100 plus years of exploration. It builds on IBM's deep legacy of supporting science, research, and innovation. Maybe after your study, they, it may prove that the genetic evidence is better than 
archaeological evidence alone, probably, right? Access the website loaded with maps, news stories, a genetics primer, historical timelines, and a host of multimedia features on human origins, migration, archaeology, climate, and linguistics, as well as information on indigenous peoples and population genetics. I'm really excited to be here. In a way, you carry a secret in your blood. With your help, it will result in one of the largest collections of DNA samples ever assembled, culminating in the creation of a virtual museum of human history for all to access. The puzzle is starting to fit together. It's an ambitious attempt to answer fundamental questions about ourselves, to give us a better picture of our common past as an extended family, where we originated, how we came to populate the globe, and why, if we share a common ancestry, we look so different from each other. Out of our joint efforts, a story will emerge, the story of one family, the human family, seen in many faces.